But I want to tackle Control Chaos. So the first one of the day. And in Spirit of Control Chaos, I will do random random for this one. But for some other ones, we're going to have to pick the, the, the actual clans. So that, there's no way around it. And that's part of the fun of it, to be honest. It's finding out what's the best uh, thing for the... Uh, Best clan for the job. All right, so we got random cards. We're going against. Where's that little buddy? All right, we're going against Temper Seraph, which is not too bad. Sap Seraph, it's it's manageable. We have Pearls of Production, Fledgling Imp, and Gem Trove. Gem Trove's a little expensive. All right, let me go ahead and make the challenge edited. Edits. Boom. Can you guys see chat on the screen? You should be able to. Alright, let's go. Let's take a look at what random cards we got. Battering Ram. Deal damage equals the number of armor. We got Blazing Purge. You guys can't see chat on the screen. Interesting. Deal 30 damage to the front enemy unit. Add a stronger version of this card to your deck. So, this is cool. Um, Blazing Bolts get stronger and stronger. I definitely want to see what I could do with this. That's pretty cool. We got Crucible Extension. Not bad. We got some Fledgling Imps. March of the Shield. Okay. Another gem trove, which is very expensive, but we do have pros of production. We have reinforced. Okay, so we have the potential for reinforce and battering ram. So we want to get permafrost on these things. In fact, this might be a deck altogether. It might be done. What we need to find a way is a way to get armor. So maybe get some armor imps. March of the Shield is armor, so we can do armor with fortify, armor with March of the Shield, reinforce, and try some battery ram stuff. So we got a lot of armor stuff, which is interesting. Conserve energy, yes. That's great. All right, this deck has potential. Architect versus Glutton. Do Glutton. We'll do Glutton, so we'll have a scaling little Gluttoner on top, or mid, whatever. And then we'll have some armor stuff as well. We'll figure it out. I'm curious. There's a world where, honestly, I want to do Unidraft because I want to find armor imps, right? There's a world where we can just win the game with just Glutton Penumbra if we're fast enough, right? There is a world. There is a world. I think the deck has potential. Okay, so if we do this, it gets stronger. It just gets stronger. It's worth it, no? Now now we have two times. Wait, it keeps getting stronger and stronger? Wait, Blazing Bolt is insane. I'm feeling good, Vixen. How you doing? Wait, Blazing Bolt is absolutely insane. You're doing fantastic as usual. Good to hear it. We're taking some Pyre damage. Oh no. Hey. Glad to see you too, Vixen. This is a uh, exclamation point challenge. Oh, it caps it four times? Oh no. That's, that's not what I want to hear. But I can still upgrade with all this other usual stuff, right? Alright, battering ram, go! X miss more challenge if you want to see the challenge. Ow! More so minor mind collapse. More pros of production. Um, I like mind collapse. Sorry, my dog got something on him. Once this cap we can do a bit, okay. Do we want Mind Collapse or more so Minor? More so Minor is not bad for Penumbra, but it's a little bit slow, a little expensive, right? Mind Collapse is a little bit bad with Unbroken Horn because it sometimes takes all my energy. Another Multi Nymph for AoE? I mean, yes. I don't like Vent for the same purposes because Vent also... Oh, shit, we have an Overgorger. Okay. So we can make a Gorger for the Overgorger and permanently scale him, and as well as trying to feed our Penumbra, or we can do more so Maker... So this is weird, because if we take Morsel Maker, we can just feed our Overgorger, or we can feed our Overgorger. Sorry. We can feed it for number, or we can feed Overgorger. Morsel Maker allows us to do that. So maybe I should just take Overgorger and look for Morsel Maker after. I don't know. It's tough. So we want to upgrade. 
Ah, uh, I want to see what we get because now we can get like an overgorger again. Maybe what I should have done honestly was get the overgorger because then I I could have I have enough morsels in this. I have packed morsels. I have gem trove. I have. I probably could have fed two things. That's a little unfortunate. I don't even want quick in anything. I don't even want quick here. A little unfortunate, but I do want to catch up on uh, removing because the deck is pretty fat. So is it bad to duplicate? It's bad to do the the stronger version of. Um... Yo, Trake, well. I demand channel points. You weren't streaming on my resub day, and I lost the 1.5x sub multiplier. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I, I, I'll compensate you. Wait, how you doing, Draco? 27 months, that's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. How you been, man? Also... I was gonna say... Parcel production is damn good with Unbroken Horn. I'm good, man, I'm good. Challenges are fun. And keeping me occupied. So I was gonna ask, does it make a difference if like I do blazing purges before they're upgraded? This shouldn't make a difference, right? Oh, uh, this is awkward. Did I do Coven 25 all combos? No, not yet. Um, I didn't invest time to that. I'm doing challenges though. So, my question is, if I, so if it gets a stronger version of this card, does it matter if I upgrade it? Or I can still just do this and then I can upgrade it after the fact, right? You guys, you get what I'm trying to say? Does it make any sense what I'm trying to say? To a random enemy unit four times. And that's where it caps? That's where it caps? So we have life steal we can apply with uh, Ember. Okay, we have Untumbra Assault. I like Untumbra Assault a lot. Spike of the Hellhorn? Okay, so this could be a way to dump our Unbroken Horn if we get Permafrost on this. That could be interesting. Permafrost on this, and then the armor from this translates into Battering Ram and into... Okay, wait. Wait. Okay, we have the combo. Deck's done. We just gotta, like, finesse it. Hashtag finesse. Alright. The deck is actually done. We need to find a way to freeze or manipulate Battering Ram. Um... Reinforce and Spike of the Hellhorn in conjunction with Broke Unbroken Horn. There's a lot of different parts that together can be crazy. We just gotta bring them together. Ooh, this is a great way to gain energy, which helps us get our combo in order and do other things. But this is really good as well with the fact that we have Rage Imps and we have. Forget the name. Spike of the Hellhorn. I still think the energy is king. Now we need Scholar Imp? Yes, we do. I want the one that gives me energy. Penitent Remains, I think it's going to be too much. Penitent Remains is going to give me too much dead weight, yeah? This helps me in the early game a little bit. I think it gives me too much dead weight. This is not bad. I'll do this. We have to upgrade a lot of things, actually. We need gold, gold, gold.
We're gonna make a lot of energy though. The blazing bolt is pretty sick then. The problem with Blazing Bolt, though, is that it's just random, so it doesn't hit these guys, potentially. Oh, it does, if they die, of course. I'm stacking armor on my, my, my champion already, so that means, like... Look at this energy. Look at this energy here. Holy shit. Wait, this is actually kind of sick. We need more pip space, actually. My energy's out of control already. I want these out of the deck. Plus, he has his energy. So, Spike of the Hellhorns is just game over. It's just game over. Because now I do things like reinforce. Bing bong, what's up vape? Reinforce, check it out, check it out, check it out. Boom. And bam. I didn't get to get my my armor damage one, but you guys get the picture. Would have been sick. Okay. Furnish tap. Oh, okay, another spike of the Hellhorns. Wait, another blazing bolts. Wait, there's so many things. Another spike of the Hellhorns helps me do the thing sooner. Furnish tap. Also breaks open the game because if I'm going like focus on one unit because I didn't first step is pretty good. Another spike of the Hellhorn allows me to get the armor sooner and the rage sooner, but first step is too good. I think we got a Saddle Sheet. Oh, we also got Deranged Brute, which is pretty good if we have Pip Space because we are going to putting rage on our guy. Oh, we do have Rage Gems as well. The Rage Brew is not bad. But Shadow Siege? Okay. Shadow Siege it is. Let's remove so we can find our stuff. So I, I kind of want to make Merchant of Steel, but I also want to upgrade spells. There's a lot of spells I want to upgrade here. And plus I want to remove all this crap. So I want to upgrade like Permafrost and some of these things. Boom, permafrost. Okay. So I think permafrost on battering ram is pretty good, yeah? For leak control, this is better for leak control. This is better for late game. So if I'm, I'm worried about the final boss, I, I hold on to this one. I need it for late game, for like the final boss, right? This is better for leak control. This is better for holding onto this until we really want to dump it. There's like, we want to get multiple. We want to get multiple, um, I had the ability to get pip space with this. I'm gonna take advantage of this. Yeah, we have the ability to get multiple. Um... Sorry, we need a lot of upgrades. Is what I'm trying to say. So that's what I was trying to say. They play each one. That's fine. That's fine. I need the gold because I need to get a lot of upgrades. I need removing get a lot of upgrades. My deck is 40 cards. 
It's kind of crazy. Sadder Siege can't be played. Feels bad. Feels really bad. Marshall Miner. Sick. I'm literally feeding. I'm feeding a, a multi nymph. Crazy. The crazy things we do for love. I'm getting battering right now to help prevent leak control. Is it worth to do it for leak control? I think so. I guess the Cosby Red Ember does the same thing. I'm literally feeding this little man. Get this out of the deck. Because he resubbed. He resubbed. What's up, uh, Mercury? That's the most recent sub. How you doing? I'm not getting nearly as much energy this time though. Oh, I forgot to use- wait- uh. Yeah, it's been there. It's been there for some time now. The, the AoE is clutch. It's so important that I got that AoE there. Yeah, we super clutch there. Now we do spike of the Hellhorn this game over. What's up, Ninosaur? It's pretty decent damage, Blazing Bolts. I can you reinforce on like it's like nothing, that's the thing. Reinforce is at the moment pretty dead card. And I'm trying to make Trying to get use out of it. So we can do Furnace Step and Spec of the Hellhorn. We can do both. I mean, that's that's some damage. That is some damage. Do I get rid of the Cosmic Ember because I don't want it? I can still use it for another fight. If you, if you do Extra Mission Point Challenge, you can see what the challenge is about. How you doing, uh, Heidi Rant? Hi, Tyrant. What's up, man? Excavation Eruption. More AoE control. It also wants more upgrades as well. Hmm, no, I think we're good. Sacrifice Imp. Ooh, Pyro Chomper is great. I need to get more spell upgrades. Ah, but I get to remove and I get to duplicate. And at this point, if I duplicate something, I'm going to duplicate... Am I going to duplicate... Am I going to duplicate Spike of the Hellhorns? Hmm, not yet. Okay, give me some good stuff. Double stack? Shit, so this is really late game. When this... So, we put this at the end of the game and it's like, that's how we win? Wait, double stack Spike of the... Oh, no. Double stacks... Oh, no. Okay, what if I do this? It's a one-time use, but it does 60 times 4. Is that too much? Tumbra saw a one time thing. I kind of want to re roll here. I kind of want to re roll here. There's a lot of important spells I need to upgrade. Holdover? Okay. So I can. If I do holdover on. A March of the Shield, I can keep applying armor to my unit. And then get more out of Battering Ram. Eh. That's not that great. If I do Holdover on Antumbra Assault. 
Okay, if I do hold over on pearls of production, I can constantly gain energy. So I'm getting three energy a turn. For minus one card draw, I get three energy a turn. Is that worth it? Then I just farm up a lot of energy by that, and then by doing that, I can end up playing really big spike of the hellhorns. And maybe by doing this, we can actually end up playing furnace step sooner. This basically gives us three energy a turn. I lose one card to get three energy a turn. Okay. Okay. That's fair. And that means we can probably even do furnace up sooner, honestly. That's fair. Okay, so what would what would want to be like so what would be the second best thing in battery ram? The second best thing would be like a um maybe upgrade with spell power, no? Like, it's like a one-time use that we want to use it. I can use it for lead control in other ways, though, right? Because there might be a world where we're doing Spike of the Hellhorn earlier. Because we're going to make a lot of energy right now. Alright. I do want to keep her moving, because my deck is pretty large. Still. I'm going to remove one more time. Am I ready? Sure, on the bolts? I mean, yes. We could do that, but I think I want to give it... You're telling me this is like a one-time use kind of thing? I think I want to use it more than once. So what I'm going to do is... Get another plus 10 magic power on it. So they're going to restore full health and move up, but I get a random artifact from my troubles. How dangerous is it that they restore full health? I mean... Most of my damage comes in my champion at the top, right? And I have enough health if I get some leakage, it's not the end of the world. Also, per production being holdover means saddle sheets can be used earlier. So I'm actually going to do this. Because if I get unlucky, I can't play saddle sheets. But if I get lucky, saddle sheets is playable. And that kills anything. Okay, we got unlucky. We did get unlucky. But, uh, you know... I think it was worth a shot. I can cast that ember this guy, but... You love, you love, uh, you love Scholar. I'm gonna try battery ram the leakage here, so I'm gonna do this so I can get battery ram on the leakage. My girl hasn't even eaten anything yet. We have a lot of energy though, so my goal here is to battery ram the leakage. Just for now. Oh, we also have reinforce. That's sick. So I'm gonna battery ram the leakage here. But now the problem is, is that the leakage is going to get out of control now. The leakage is trying to get out of control. If I do spike of the Hellhorn, it's really good. We need, what we need is trample or we need multi-strike sooner. So what I am going to do is Timber Assault. And then I can do things like this. I need damage, so what I'm going to do is damage, and I'm going to do gem trove. I'm keeping them alive, and then... This guy has 6 damage, unfortunately. I need something else in the mid lane. So, in a in perfect world, I can get Shadow Siege. In a perfect world, I can get Shadow Siege. I think it's Spike of the Hellhorn now. Our deck is also kind of big, so we actually don't get to get Pro production too soon either. Eric Velt, love you too, buddy. We have a lot of energy right now. Alright, we're handling leakage.
We got furnace top. It's GG. Should be GG here. All right. So the our 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 strategy of playing um our strategy of like letting this be the ultimate kill is working, and we we manage leakage with reinforced body. But okay, that is not gonna be the norm. Jack Strips is fantastic. Engine upgrade gives us more energy per turn, and that means we don't use one of the lanes. I mean, that's pretty good for the deck. It's another card that is not, so it's another card that's like not that important. We have a lot more important things we want to get into in our deck. Like it was sort of a combo deck, but it's a combo deck that's thirty nine cards. So if it's not absolutely essential, I don't think we take it. Impish scholar. So I'm taking this just because Locutus loves this. Locutus has been raving about Impish Scholar the whole time. And you know what? He's not wrong, alright? Impish Scholar does bring back some um, some important spells. I really want to keep upgrading my spells. I think this is a spell-based deck. So I'm going to go for another spell shop. But we're going to sacrifice an artifact. And we're also going to get health, which I don't really care about. But I really want the spell shop. And to be honest, the removal is not bad either. Because this is a combo deck, I do want to remove some cards. I'm thinking I removed like two torches, but the thing about these torches is that they could be useful to kill the Seraph's little minions in conjunction with Jack Strips. But so can Molten Imp, I suppose. In fact, getting Endless on one Molten Imp probably wins me the game because this is one of my most important AoE. If I get Endless on Molten Imp, I probably win the game. So it is worth to maybe look for Endless at the shop and that the cavern's not too bad either. But getting Endless is like, I don't know, what's the percentage chance of getting Endless on this? Which is the only thing I really care about. Because other than that, our, our main goal is feeding this little girl. Or big girl, should I say. We can't lower the cost in Shadow Siege? Nope. Unless we get the ability from this event, which makes something one cost, I believe. There is like a called Minor, minor Stone. There is something, but it's, it's uh, again, a random chance. And Saturday Street is normally playable. I just got the deck has to be a little bit smaller to make that happen, right? So I think I will remove torches at the end of the day. But okay, what about removing Shade Splitter? How do I how do I make morsels? I make morsels sometimes with and Tumbler Assault. I make it with Gem Trove, but that's very expensive. I make it with Morsel Master Maker, but that's a different lane. I make it with Packed Morsels, that's a one-time thing. If I get removed consume on packed morsels, then I will remove Shade Splitters. But at the time being, I am going to remove. Well, before I do this, let's see what we get. Permafrost. This is perfect. So we do want to get permafrost on something like... This would be per... We can do a furnace tap. So we hold onto it for the final boss. Or... We could do it on reinforce. So that as soon as we do the spike of the hellhorns, now we have... The reinforce ready to go. And that's our combo. So we do... Massive armor, boom, now we have reinforced so he doesn't die, and then we can do things like a really big battering ram for damage. In a perfect world, I probably want both of these permafrosted. I think this is probably a little bit more important to get the multi strike for the final boss. So I would do furnish that for now, but I want reinforce as well. Let's go do blazing bolts here. We're running out of money, unfortunately. Gem Trove is not bad, it does give me morsels, but it's so damn expensive. But okay. Let's remove some of the torches. Okay, I think I'm gonna remove like a sh one shade splitter here. But shade splitter is pretty good because it gives me morsels, which allow me to gain energy with the banner, and then also gives me targets for the prism. Sorry for the pearls of production. So okay. I keep forgetting about the health. I don't care about the health so much that I keep forgetting about getting it. No, I need to upgrade more spells. I need like more permafrost. I wonder if I'm going all in on this combo and then I'm, I'm not going to be quick enough in the deck. And I'm a little bit worried about it. I'm 
Let's have it worried. Jack Shops is really good here though. Okay, this is a good Blazing Bolt here. Wait, should I just put Morsel Master here and then try to feed another lane? I think that's really good, huh? This is a decent Blazing Bolt. Oh, not when it hits that. Oh. Now I need to save energy for Shadow Sheets. We got Shadow Sheets. Oh boy. And this doesn't... Okay, the problem is that that doesn't count towards... Alright, I'll play this, but... That's a great unit. Fortunately, this doesn't count towards... The banner. This lane. But, I am feeding my ass off. Like, she's gorging up out of her mind. We need, we need a lane and we can summon things so we can get our banner consistently. Do I just do Furnace Tap now? A part of me wants to kill one of my own morsels to, to summon morsels down here. But if I summon morsels down here, then they're going to die for free, but they give me energy. And that's what helps me manage things like Furnace Tap, right? So if I kill my own morsel in order to get morsels, I gain energy, of course. They die for free, but the point is that I gain energy. And I get one... Okay, I think it's worth it. No, wait. I actually got that guy. Alright, no, now he's dead. Alright, I'll do it for the energy. I'll do anything for the energy. I'm a slave to the energy. And that first step is totally uh, playable. So we have a whole other person production. This is great. So now our energy is going to go through the roof. Now our energy is going to go through the roof. We want to find life steal for our shadow sheet. So we want to put all the pip space increase on this lane so we can give this guy morsels. So now we can get rid of this whole conundrum of needing space to play morsels. We put it in this lane. And now we can also not only get energy, but then give this guy a life steal and keep him alive. Because he's, a, he's his own threat. To be honest, I could do furnace up on him and win the game. Because he's already scaled up. I, I can literally furnace up on him and win the game right now. And then have her as a backup. So when he kills something, he gains stronger. But I really want to get some more energy here. Is she, isn't she potentially going to get bigger though soon? She's about to be bigger than him soon, right? Because she's going to be my Spike of the Hellhorn target. Fuck it, I'll do, I'll do this. Fuck it. Now Spike of the Hellhorn is still pretty damn big. I could do battering ram as well. But okay, if I do spike at the Hellhorn, I'm gonna run out of uh, Ember because of Ember Drain. I don't know if it's gonna matter. We have Pyro Chomper, but we can't even play Pyro Chomper. I could wait so I can play Pyro Chomper before I do spike at the Hellhorns. But the things, I and mean, this needs permafrost. Because if, if, I, if I, I'm not, probably not gonna draw it again. All right, fuck it. Now we want to find Reinforce. We have, dude, we have Pearls of Production. We always have Energy Pearls of Production, so it's like... Wait, our deck is just broken. I can do this to kill this guy. Oh, look at the damage, actually. Holy shit. Should I wait, though? No, because I don't want to lose my armor. That's the thing. Wait, I'm doing so much damage to the boss. Wait, the boss is almost dead. Wait. Pearls of production. Now we have too much energy, though. We have to be like, okay, what are we doing with all this energy? We have life still on our dude. Oh, that's just too rich. With this much energy that I gain, I now want to find another way to dump it. So I guess we could take another... um. 
He doesn't even take damage. We can get like another spike of the Hellhorn or something. And this was a totally different fight because we were able to place Shadow Sheech. Oh, One Horn's Tome. Okay, the thing about One Horn's Tome is that it has this thing called Fragile. What's up, Last Alistair? You want to uh, dump energy by duplicating Shadow Sheets? Yeah. So we can we can find another lane for Shadow Sheets in the bot, I guess. Yes, it's not, not the worst thing. Yeah, so One Horn's Tome, the Fragile, can, if I put it on someone like the... Uh, Let's say I put it on my Penumbra. Can I reasonably prevent her from taking hit? Probably, right? Because we're gonna have we're gonna have damage shields, and we're gonna have potentially morsels to go in front of her. We have damage shields, and we also potentially might have armor at our disposal as well. It's a little bit risky. It is a little bit risky, but I think with the fact that we have damage shields and armor, look, our deck is large enough that we may not be able to get damage shield or armor in time. Because first off, the damage shield is RNG for the random morsels, or we have gem trove. But that may not be enough, because if it's multi-hits, then I don't know. Like, I, I really like the multi-track. I just feel like fragile is sort of too risky. This does deal damage to the front enemy equal to 15 times the number of imps in your deck. This is pretty good. This is a pretty damn good card. It's really good damage, honestly. It helps you manage leak. And in a world where we only have like two really big units we care about, getting spells like this that do a lot of damage to manage leaking is fantastic. So we can do more card draw. If we get more card draw, we can play around our energy gaining stuff like the uh, units that we summon and things like Pearls of Production. So how much they card draw is in a way giving us energy. Because it gives us access to the energy faster. And now we have some trinkets or we have upgrade spells or upgrade units rather. Okay, I can also remove or I can look for trinkets here. I'm not very rich, so going here, I mean, I might get one good trinket and then I'm going to be broke for the next pair of shops. What I do want though is to go to this hell vent. Because I definitely want to duplicate and remove and get another merchant of magic. So we need to make money somehow. I can remove now. And then gain more life, which I don't really care about. Merchant of Steel. Potentially, I can do things like quick or multi-strike on Shadow Siege, and that just wins the game. So, you know what? I'm not opposed to this. Quick or Shadow multi-strike. Okay, well, the game's over now. All right, well, we just won the game. Um, I can go remove some more stuff that I don't care about. I mean, to be honest, I don't think I really care about... Um, I mean, this is gonna be the last upgrades that I have because I'd rather see my money. Like, I can get this upgrade, but I'd rather see my money here. I didn't get endless or anything, but whatever. I need to make money somehow. So if that means that I have to take this trial, I'm gonna do it. Zoom for lightnings for Twitch Prime, buddy. How you doing, buddy? It's been a while. I'm doing it. 400 gold is what I need right now because I need to I need to duplicate my cards at the next shop. I need to look for spell upgrades and then I need maybe buy a trinket. Oh, and funny enough, we could actually summon Shadow Sheets here. Because we have Pearls of Production. Isn't that fantastic? Isn't that just fantastic? We got our whole combo, everything we needed, on the first turn. We already won on the first turn. And that's thanks to the fact that I removed some of the bad stuff. I do. I need to protect my dude. So, um, okay. I need to play multi nymph. So I need space. I need to play multi nymph. Multi nymph just saves me so much life here. Oh, I need pip space so bad. Holy shit! I need pip space. My lord, I need pitch face. I don't get to get 100 gold though. It's like, fuck.
Dude, I need pitch face so bad in that that lane. Cause multi nip is so important for that for that particular turn. Uh, we can just do furnace up now and just win, right? Cause we have energy every single turn now. Um, yeah, it's just GG now. Now we need to find some life steal on this dude. Oh, we got Impolate. Okay, pros production every single turn. I could do Spike of the Hellhorn now, or I could just wait. I'll wait. And if they get past my Saddle Season, then they have to deal with this big ass Penumbra who's actually even stronger now. Penumbra's stronger than him. Now I finally got pip space. Penumbra is stronger than him. So wait, if I get Furnace Tap again, now I put on Penumbra and it's, it's GG, like so GG is crazy. If I wait. It only gives me one? Oh, I only have one consume spell. Wait, didn't I play Furnace Tap? Wait, since when is it only one? Did they, did they nerf Impish Scholar? Or has it always been one and then it, I usually get the thing that... Maybe it's always been one. I got life still, which is sick. I need life still so bad. Maybe it's always been one. Fuck. And now I need like a yeah, duplicate for Wait, I can't I doesn't I can't even attack. And now we win. Because they did too much damage at first. But now we're good. I didn't even get to play Spike of the Hellhorns. Alright, so we have so many things to duplicate. D okay, we can do a 5 damage with Plat 20 armor, that's not bad. Inferno, eh. Impotent box is not bad. Impotent box is not bad, I'll take it. This gives me energy for playing units. It potentially gives me some spells back with Impish Scholar, it's not bad. Alright, so we want to remove. Well, before we do anything, let's take a look at the trinkets. Gorge ability trigger additional time. Well, that's just game over. Um, my champion just becomes broken. And improved firebox means that we can always play Saddle Sheets. Wait, we just won the game. Improved firebox means Saddle, saddle Sheets is always playable. Gorge ability means my penumbra is insane. Let's see what the shop has over here. Double stack? Wait, Jesus. Wait, but those two artifacts just win the game for me, though. But then, I, if I do that, I don't get to duplicate. That's the problem. Do I even need to duplicate? Okay, because I kind of want to duplicate like something like Furnace Tap. For one for my Shadow Sheets, one for my Champion. And that just wins the game. But, do those artifacts win the game? Maybe Improved Firebox is not as necessary. Because here's the thing. Improved Firebox means Shadow Sheets is always playable. But what if I have two Shadow Sheets in the deck? One for Bali and one for mid lane. Well, then I won't have space to play any morsels. Well, the fangs, I think, it just gives me so much power. It's ridiculous. Improved firebox is like, okay, would I rather duplicate cards or go for Saddle Sheets Insurance? Okay, if I duplicate cards, I think I do want to duplicate... 
um, one furnace tap and maybe even duplicate a spike of the hellhorn. Do I want to spike of the hellhorn? Do I really? I'm gonna have ember drain, so I'm not gonna be getting that much energy. Nah, spike of the hellhorn's really good. But the diversity in the game? I think the challenges make it more interesting. But there's a few things that 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 work well, obviously. Um so we get that. I need to have space for multi-nymph though. It's pretty important. I don't think I want two gem troves. Fledging nymphs or whatever, but... No, nah, you can't double stack the spike. I tried. So now we have one more duplicate. Do I want to duplicate another furnace tap? That's too much, right? Do I want to duplicate another Imperial Scholar? No. More Pact Marshals? No. Another Shadow Siege for the bot lane? Just so I can find it sooner? I mean, Substitute is a great unit. Will I have the energy for it? Substitute is a great unit. I can make something cheaper or I can make something stronger. Um, let's make this cheaper. Alright, let's go. All right, control chaos. Let's see what we got. Oh, they have sap. They're sapping me up. But my champion's gonna skill so much, and the first stop on the champion is just be a wrap. All right. So there's a world where we get there's a world, guys, where we get pyre chomper. Now I have a question, guys. I have a question. Do you guys think I should try to get Pyro Jumper again by doing this? Oh, fuck. It would have been sick, huh? It would have been sick. So now we can't play that Saddle Shoot, unfortunately. But that would have been sick. Luckily, we have two Saddle Shooters. So, this guy's gonna die to uh, Jack Strips. And I need to find a way to handle this leakage. Right, okay. So we have Slatter Sheets. We can handle the leakage by just playing Fledgling Imp. Or playing Morsels. And then I just need to buy time for this to scale and then it's GG, right? Slatter Sheets just kills that as well. Uh, so I think we just got through the worst of it. So I could just put Fledgling Imp here just to die. Or I could do, I might as well do two chump blockers, right? Save life altogether. Now that that's there, I could do furnace up now. Just to kind of make sure we have no leakage at all. The problem is this guy's about to do some damage. Oh, this has life steal. Oh, the life steal means now I can do furnace tap and it's like, I don't have to worry about leakage at all. The problem is Ember Drain is kind of rough. But I'm going to start managing energy with this lane. So we do this. We do okay about doing furnace snap because we're about to get two uh, energy, two, two things summoned. We're going to get energy from these things. And then we're going to have drawn to our pros of production. So we actually solve energy here. And the fact that this lifestyle is very important. So we got pros of production, which is fantastic. Which means we can actually save life by doing this save a lot of life or we can try to uh 
I mean, he has life still anyway, so it doesn't matter how much damage he's taking. But I want to summon two units. So I'm going to do that. I can do damage all up here just so I can like keep her alive. But I want to try to get my energy back up, so... I'll play just to get a second unit summons. That's it. Yeah, this is not bad. This actually can do some damage to the boss. For one energy, that's pretty good, I think. Just to kind of like kill all the things, not to worry about it. So that can buy time for my champion to scale. My champion starts scaling now, it should be GG. Look, double the gorge effects means like... It took a couple turns, but now she's fully online. And we can even furnish that her and it's game over. We have things like Pyro Chomper and we have Prozzy Production got holdover, so now our energy is completely solved. Um, yeah, I can just finish that pair and it's game over. She's about to carry the game. I want to hold on just back of the Hellhorn. I might as well do Blazing Bolts here. I just need to get find, my, find some more life steal for my, um, my Shadow Shoots and it's game over. Ah, uh, Penumbra? I think she's female, yeah. I treat her as a female. Oh, we could be gender neutral. We try to keep this guy's armor alive by doing this. Not the worst, but I could have held on to that. I wasted my energy there. But we make energy like crazy. Um, and Temporal Assault is great, because that can find life steal potentially. Life steal, life steal, we got life steal. Sick. A oh, Penumbra is just out of control right now. We have another Saddle Sheet just in the nick of time. Because why not? Because why not? I don't have space for it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Blazing bolts. Penumbra is looking juicy. I can actually make the kill come up, come happen here. Because I have Spike of the Hellhorns. So I didn't even need Penumbra. She didn't get her chance to shine. And I, I, I think it's a she. That's what I should address. The mother of morsels. I also think Bra is like a feminine uh, ending. If you're a Spanish or... Or Latina, Latino. Like Panambro, Panambra. Alright, GG. That was good. Controlled Chaos felt good. What a nice one.